Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here on the Asylum server today. I'm going to do the final video on the arena build. I think it's finally done. Um, we got some stuff that we're going to build out here, but it's individual stuff, so it's not really um, tied to the arena. Uh, there'll be some PvP stuff, maybe if we get this thing started. I can't really say what it is yet. It's not my build. Um, I was going to do some villager trading on the other side there, but... Um, you know, like a, just a kind of a building village setup. But uh, they're going to be changing the way villager vill the villagers trade in the update. So I'm not really going to start anything over here yet until 1.8 comes out. Which, uh, um, according to what I was reading today, uh, could be soon. But uh, I'm going to wait until uh, that happens. So, uh, yeah, here's the arena. It's pretty much done. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably 95% done. The rest of the stuff that's got to be worked on, um, I'll just do, you know, uh, here and there. So I can get started on some new projects that I have planned. So I'm going to just uh, show you guys. I guess we'll do, um, I guess we'll do the, let's do the inside first. And then I'll uh, talk a little bit about what we did on the outside. And um, just take you through some of the catacombs and whatnot so this is going to be uh this is the pvp area here um the green team we're going we're gonna to do uh pvp teams so we'll set up to do pvp teams and uh so this would obviously be for the green team and uh my goal is to get rid of all these torches i'm going to put enough lighting here i probably used most of the of the um of the glowstone on the server with these with all these uh redstone lamps that are all over the place um, but, uh, yeah, so you can see that there's still some stuff here that I got to fill in. Um, but it's just the more I walk around, the more things I see that, uh, work that still has to be done, but I'll get to it. And, um, eventually the place will be a hundred percent, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do any more videos on it. It's just taking me too much time. So I'll have to do it little by little. And like I said, I got a bunch of projects that I want to start working on on the server. So this is just going to have to start, uh, you know, start doing some piecemeal work on it. So, all right. So these, uh, these chests here, the way this is going to work is this would be like the green team's locker room, let's call it. And there'll be a bed here. So the guys will be able to set their spawn an ender chest so they can put their important stuff uh, that they don't want to lose. And then these will say like these chests here will be for stuff that, uh, you know, they don't want to lose. So sort of like um, guys, have been, you want to empty out your pockets, stuff that you don't care if you lose, you could throw it in there. And then this stuff here we'll put, see, the guys are already starting to use it for uh, <clears throat> stuff like this, where we'll just dye some leather caps. We'll put some uh, green leather, um, green leather armor and maybe some iron armor or whatever maybe some potions or whatever that we're going to use for um for uh some pv team pvp that we're going to do here on the server with the guys so what we'll do is just we'll just close the doors everyone will get ready work out your strategies whatever you want to do and when when it's time to fight doors open and then you're out this is the middle of the arena here what we're going to do eventually is we're going to um, build some structures um that you can climb on and shoot out of and jump off of or whatever once uh you know once we set things up here this will be all set we might leave uh we'll probably leave it set up uh, or just make it easy to take down this uh this chest here in the middle is for our king of the ring setup um we'll probably fill this up with more stuff too we had actually a practice pvp that some of the guys on the asylum server have been posting their videos of it um and uh it was actually uh it's actually a lot of fun we worked it out did a real quick setup of it it was like a quick test to see how things worked and um it was uh it was actually uh, a lot of fun and i was glad to see the arena get used hopefully we're going to be doing some more stuff in the near future uh so so yeah you can see green green team blue team this is the way we did it the red team and you know each each team has a color and this, uh, yeah, so this is the center of the, uh, the arena. And you can see these, um, sorry about that. You can see these pods here, the way they're set up. They have, uh, manual gates that go up and down. This is for a zombie spawner that's right underneath this chest. What happens is, um, 
There's a switch up in the control room, which I believe is right up there. Yes, right up there. That will uh, activate the spawner. The zombies will fill up each of these pods. There's five of them. And uh, we could either have people uh, stand here and um, either do uh, either fight the zombies as the gates open. They'll either open all at once or randomly. So you don't know which one's going to open. Or um, <clears throat> we can have them open uh, randomly as the, PV the team PvP is going on. Um, we can have them... Uh, we can throw armor at them and have them armored. Um, you know, we can do pretty much anything. So it's just like an added little feature to the arena that we can have mobs join the fight as well. So we can do King of the, King of the Ladder, um, Team PvP. We can do, uh, we can have uh, zombies involved in the fights. So uh, anything else anyone can think of. If anybody has um, a plan to use explosives or lava... Uh, as long as they do it safely and, uh, well, safely as in don't mess up my arena and, uh, they can contain the lava. The, everything here underneath here is, uh, uh, obsidian. So the entire floor has obsidian underneath the stone. So, uh, while I don't recommend using TNT in the arena and, um, lava, no, well, lava's not that bad, but yeah, everything underneath here is obsidian. So, uh, we kind of... We kind of built it to be used, not to be, uh, so it's not just for show. If you guys want to use it, uh, hopefully they will. So here's the second floor. There's plenty of patios, I guess you would call them, terrace, uh, to overlook the server. You can see the fountains that are built down here. And then this is all going to be future. Uh, this area out here is all for future buildings. Uh, a lot of plans for this area, which is why we added all these, all these, um, um, all these um, p places that you can look out because um, hopefully there'll be this will be a view out to all the other projects that we have planned on the server. So I think there's one on each side too. So this is the green side, <clears throat> and each side has a stairway down to uh, each team. So basically, what what this is is below would be like the locker room, and this is the team area here. So if you get killed or whatever, you can come up here and you can just watch. Uh, uh, watch the rest of the fight, or if you're not participating in the fight, and I guess if you want to root for the green team or whatever, <clears throat> you can, uh, we can just stand here, so, uh, on the green team side. It's just another, uh, there's a patio on each side, so, blue team side, all these chests and stuff have to go. This is just the door that leads to kind of like a maintenance door. That leads to all of the massive redstone work that was done by Dub, who is um, obviously one of the members on the server. And the whole thing just goes around. Each team has, uh, you can see each team has its own room. The one on the bottom is the locker room. The one up top is the, uh, I guess, the room for the to observe the teams. And this is the control room, more or less. So the way this works is uh, the gates here are for the zombies. This will open up those pods to let them all out. This one here actually turns the spawner on and off. It's off right now. And this one here is uh, for the gates to be uh, <clears throat> open and closed randomly. So you won't know which one is going to open uh, at any given time. So while these things say we set up the king of the king of the ladder and we're doing that. And then uh, we have the spawner on while there's pods are filling up with zombies we could be messing around with king of the king of the ladder and then we decide to do the, the team pvp the, the pods are nice and filled with zombies we open up the pods while we're fighting and now we're fighting each other and the zombies at the same time and uh it's a whole lot of fun so hopefully there's a bunch of that stuff going on real soon and um hopefully uh those videos will be coming out as well so, yeah, uh, we're going to talk about that, too. I don't know if you guys can see off in the distance. There's a wrecking ball right over the house that spawned. But in the meantime, we're going to go outside the arena. That's pretty much it for the inside of the arena. Oh, yeah, this is another thing I want to talk about. I got this stuff <clears throat> all over the place. This is just, like, details that I'm pretty sure no one has ever even seen. The more you walk around this place, um, the more you find things that... Um, you probably, you could probably walk around this place a few times 
and each time just see something that you haven't seen before. I've been working on this place for so long that uh, even I find things that I forgot I had I forgotten that I had I had done. Uh, so this side of the arena here, I uh, set this up to maybe uh, add a shop here. I haven't really worked on any of the shops yet. I think I did actually work on one on the other side. We'll get to that later. Um, this I just set up to fill in this. There was an opening here. I didn't really, wasn't really sure what to do with it. I decided to just put a garden here for some color. Just to kind of break things up a little bit and uh, set up a tra uh, set up a uh, kind of like an overhang here. Um, but I'm probably going to take this down. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Uh, and maybe just add add a different type of overhang. Put some seating here. I'm not sure. I'm going to continue to work on this stuff, like I said, but I'm not really going to do too many more um, um, construction videos on it. So over on this side of the arena here, this is the first. Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. This is the one um, video, the one video, the one uh, shop that I did work on. I don't have a shop owner yet, so maybe tonight I might have to try and see if we can get a uh, zombie over here to... Uh, to work in work in this uh, shop for us. Bertross dolls. Bertross is a member of the server. So here's just a continuation of some of the gardens that we had inside. I did this uh, on the same night that Fire Willie came and helped me make uh, the gardens that are inside inside here. He stopped by one night and he basically did this with me in a very short period of time. He actually did all this by himself. I wanted something here. We were originally going to do um, gar um, uh, shops in here, but shops would have, uh, you can only have so much space for shops in an arena. And I just thought, then we can, someone else, had, I think Dub and I were talking about it, and we decided maybe gardens might not be a bad idea. And Fire Willie was the first guy that came to my mind because he's actually, uh, he's actually pretty good at this landscaping and gardening stuff for some reason. He uh, has a knack for it. So, uh, yeah, he. Uh, I wanted him to pitch in. I was trying to just get guys involved because um, I wanted everybody to kind of have a part in this place. And uh, I got to say, I'm pretty happy with it. It came out much better than I thought um, it was going to come out. It was much bigger than I thought. When I first started this, um, I got myself a creative server so I can have people come on and help me with it. And uh, Dub was on right away, and we specked out, and we started building this thing, and it looked nothing like this when we first started it. It had a completely different shape to it, and um, a different look, a completely different look to it. And um, when it was all said and done, this is what we ended up with. And uh, it, uh, it took me a little longer than I thought. It's much bigger than I thought, a lot more time and effort. But I got to say, it uh, was well worth it, and um, I definitely would not have been able to do it without uh, the guys on this server. Everybody chipped in and came together, and uh, it's a real testament to the type of people we have working, uh, working. It's a real testament to the type of players that we have on this server and the type of people we have here, that uh, everybody was willing to chip in and work, uh, especially in the beginning. We had people dropping off. Um, obsidian, people helping us uh, with the foundation, people dropping off uh, supplies left and right, and um, it was uh, definitely not possible without some of the other guys on this server. And most of this build is actually from Dub. He started, uh, I think he built one wing and then a couple of us came on and we just started hammering away at the other sides, so uh, just kind of following his lead. So, uh, you know, a lot of the credit goes to him as well. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is just one of the other sides, the sides that we, we've we already seen. And, uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that the guys on the server uh, get a lot of use out of it. I'm very happy with it. And I think it was good. Uh, it's going to be good for the server. It's going to be good for the people on the server. It's nice to have an arena to, uh, you know, plan a couple of PvP nights and, and uh Get some good videos out of it, hopefully. This is a courthouse that Rob made. I was just talking to him about it not too long ago. Um, a little bit of a question as to whether or not it's going to stay or not. Uh, might be moving closer to spawn. But uh, we're kind of holding off on that. See if maybe we're going to extend uh, this area here, build out, maybe add a jail or some other buildings or um, take it down and move it over to spawn. 
So while I'm, uh, while I'm on the subject of Spawn, I'm going to close out this video by showing you guys a little bit about what's going on on the server. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can tell, but behind me, hmm, I'm a little hungry. So behind me is a wrecking ball that is currently smashing its way into the roof of our spawn building. We're going to be rebuilding spawn completely, and uh, everything's getting torn down, and we're going to start some new structures very soon. Actually, Dub is um, going to head the head off the uh, the construction. He's going to he's more or less in charge of the whole build. He's actually going to be doing most of the build. Uh, I'm going to help him as much as he'll let me help him and everyone else on the server. Uh, I've already donated a couple stacks of brick. Um, it's all going to be brick and cobblestone, and I'm not really sure what else he has planned, but um, I saw a quick picture of it. It looks awesome. It's going to be a ton of work, but, um, you know, it's time. Uh, he's been wanting to change it for a while, I know, and uh, some of this stuff is going to go. The flaming, uh, flaming dirt mound is... Is, uh, is a little question as to whether or not that's going to go, but I think it's going to go. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's one of the things that's going to go. So I'll just show you around a little bit what's going on here. I see there's some construction workers around here. There's more construction equipment in the back there. So let's take a look and see what's going on. So let's see. Construction workers, equipment. Uh, looks like bulldozers. And the wrecking ball looks awesome. Over here, another construction. Oh my god, I don't want to show that. Um, another construction guy. There was a. Uh, oh, TNT. Apparently, we're getting ready to blow. <laughs> we're getting ready to blow this place in a few days, I think. I am going to guess that it's going to be TNT. And also some good news is, what is this? Beard shop. Temporary storage. Okay, so ginger shop. So I guess that means that it is going away. Oh, this is where all the dirt where the dirt's going. So I hope it's not going to go here in front of this beautiful barn. Thup and I took uh, built, built this barn, I think, in like an hour. It didn't take us long. This place is huge. One of my favorite builds. And I think the barn is staying, so... Uh, so we got some construction equipment here. I think this is a dump truck, bulldozer, another bulldozer, the foreman, uh, and I'm guessing this is another bulldozer, yeah. So yeah, March 1st, this place is all coming down. That's the date that's set, and, um... A whole new spawn will be built, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. Wow, you can see the arena from here. Off in the distance. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but I can see it from here. That's cool. And um, I thought that house was going, too. At least I heard a rumor that that house might be going. I don't know if that's really going to happen or not. But um, some of this stuff is going to stay. Some of it's going to go. I think our chicken... Uh, our chicken coop is going, and we're going to rebuild it and make it more efficient. And I think this is my cat. Are you my cat? Oh, yeah, you are my cat. I didn't even know I had a cat. You stay there. You stay there. I don't, I don't really want you anyway. So the new spawn is basically going to be from here all the way back into the jungle this way. Which is going to open up this whole, f the whole front of our, uh, the whole front of, the whole front of the spawn building. I'm um, if that's, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. <laughs> so the whole, uh, this whole area here will be opened up for uh, shops or whatever people want to put. So. That's pretty much it, guys. I'm running out of things to say. So uh, this video is going to come to an end. The arena is done. Very happy with it. And uh, even even more happy with the, the support that I got from the people on the server. And I uh, couldn't be happier with the group of uh, guys that we've gotten together. Excellent group of people. Very talented group. And uh, wait till you see what we do here at Spawn. It's going to be awesome. So if you like this video... Please, uh, please show me. Hit that like button if you want to follow along with some of the stuff that we're doing here on Asylum. You can subscribe and uh, and uh, feel free to comment. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. 
appreciate you watching these videos, and I'll see you for the next one. See if we can't kill him. I've never uh, killed one with a knife. Get out of here. Stop hitting me. <laughs> what are you? I dropped up. Oh, I did get him. Look at that. Got him with a knife.